guys welcome back to the channel well i hope you guys are having a decent time being locked up in your houses quarantined from this pandemic we got going on so i figured i'd bring some entertainment to the community that is my youtube subscriber base and give you some entertainment so uh on today's episode of i buy too many friggin projects and don't have enough time to work on them we're going to talk about the old ranger i parked this thing here about two weeks ago uh because i needed to move it from that spot over there over to here and everything was fine and then i came out here today to try to start it and nothing so i already diagnosed it so i'm going to show you what was what's wrong with it and just to make a video today i wanted to kind of go over what i'm going to do so as you can see i already have the ignition uh, console ignition you know sector taken apart here in the steering column and uh when i came out here to go to start it um all it would do was turn over just turn over and turn over and turn over it wouldn't hit not at nothing not one hit and that's usually either obviously spark or fuel so if you got one of these old ford any of these old fords um that's fuel injected and has electronic fuel pump mustang fox bodies are very famous for doing this listen when you turn the key so if you turn the key and you don't hear a whirring noise like a wow then that then you know your fuel pump's not coming on and that was the case for this so i wanted to see because i remember i did a video a while back about um some bad wiring that was done in here and i take you around here over to here and you can see in this little sector here this is the ignition switch um, and basically the way this works is when you turn the key tumbler to forward or backward it moves a little piston back and forth here and it actually mobilizes a little contacts plate well you can see here that the little brass section that's supposed to be over here just fell apart that's gone and really what this does is this moves back and forth when you move your ignition um, uh, key forward and you know backward it moves the piston back and forth back here in this little armature and it drags the contacts from um, from non-contact to contact uh, which would be in this little wiring harness here. So you could see back here, um, that's the just the motion of that thing moving back and forth on the contact switch for years and years and years. And it eventually wore out. So what happened was the ignition switch isn't allowing the uh, fuel pump to turn on because it's just completely done. So what I'm going to have to do, or what I already did, was I ordered a new one of these ignition switches here. So this will get pulled out and replaced. And then I also observed down here in some of the wiring, you can see that there's a uh, this ground wire that someone's tapped into, I believe. I don't even know if it's ground or not. I'm sure it is. They didn't know what they were doing. They, they, they cut this wire here and it came out of the ignition uh, wiring harness. So that's got to be redone. So I'm going to try to make a video for you guys this week of this repair just to give you something, some kind of entertainment to watch for everyone that's subbed to my channel while we're all kind of going through this crap. Because I know right now um, a lot of people are at home, a lot of people are scared, uh, and they need something to do, something to watch. So I'm going to kick this video out. And hopefully by the end of the video, this will work and it'll actually turn on. And that shit you see on my hand is not blood or chocolate syrup that's actually dielectric grease that came out of this thing here it's shit's nasty and sticky it smells like barf so it's pretty gross but yeah hopefully at the end of the video you'll see this start again and just to give you an update on this truck i have all the electronic parts i decided i'm gonna rebuild or redo this 2.9 i don't want to put the 302 budget build motor in here uh so basically i'm gonna restore the entire interior I want to either replace or fix this seat because it's stuck in the midway position and I'm six foot tall and I can barely fit in here. This thing has to move back. I'm going to redo the entire interior, uh, make it look brand new again, do carpet. It also has a leaky wiper seal, so it leaks water in here. Luckily, there's no rust problem that I can see so far. This will that'll get fixed. New carpet, new door panels, new headliner. I already have the headliner board, so this will all look brand new again. Uh, when I'm done with it and it'll match the nice exterior that it has and uh, as far as the 2.9 goes I'm gonna go ahead and actually do uh, new heads I'm gonna source some new heads I think I found a, a, a set for uh, 400 bucks so I'm gonna do a set of new heads on it do all the new electronic parts and it will be good as new so hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to rate comment and subscribe get you on the next one later